Hey there YouTube, it's Gundude73 making a quick knife review and today we're looking at a Spyderco in particular we are looking at the Spyderco military C36 GP camo and uh, as you can see there the LJ denotes it was made in December of 2010 and uh, I got this at Tactical Defender and uh, you can go there as well and get this and you can get 10% off with the coupon code GD73 so uh, check them out and uh, on to the review here um, interestingly enough the military here came wrapped in plastic in a little plastic bag um, that, that must be something new they're doing I don't mind um, the military is a classic design it's been around about 15 years and um, it was the knife that was the answer to the question posed to Sal Glesser of what, what knife would you send with your child if they were put into the military, like they enlisted or they wanted to serve. And he basically designed this knife to be like a soldier's utility knife, not hard use because they have like a bayonet or another field knife. This was designed to just be their main utility knife. It was also designed to be used with gloves, has a very large five and a half inch handle. The opening hole is their larger 14 millimeter hole the large cutout to access it and in the open position you can see it's nice and easy to disengage the liner lock it's a nice big old cutout and um, I like it because it's just it fits me really well it's a good sized knife I tend to hold it like this there is a choil you can choke up it just feels right it feels comfortable and um, you can see the digicam here it's unique to each knife and even on each side now you see that side is different than that side. And then I have my paramilitary one here. You can see it's also different on either side. So that's really nice, unique and whatnot. Um, knife is very easy to open. You just put your finger in the hole and push. You can flick it open pretty easy. You can open it nice and slow if you want. You can do the middle finger solo flick for solos knife reviews. That's what I call it at least. Oops. Um, the pocket clip, usually, at least on the paramilitary, I switch the clip out for an STR lowrider. Because on this knife, on the para, I felt that it was just too much knife sticking out, but the military, I actually don't mind the clip. Because it seems right on this knife, where it seemed wrong on this one. For whatever reason, I can't, it's hard to explain, but it feels right on this knife. Um, obviously, as I was said, there is a liner lock on there and um, focus camera there we go you can see it has um, some nice jimping there on the liner lock it is stainless steel not titanium but um, it's nothing to hold against the design uh, very nice ramped tang there you can see to, um, to increase the life of the knife the G10 is nice and thick and the liners are inlaid into it you can see the um, you can see here how that G10 is sort of cut from the liner it's sort of nested in. Has a backspacer, and hopefully the camera can focus. You can see how the liner is cut out, drilled out right there. I don't think the liner is needed on this top scale, but um, they put it there anyway. You can see here it has S30V, and glad to know it's been made on Earth. I like how Spyderco does that, how they put, how specifically where it was made. has the excellent Spyderco jimping, as you can see, in the choil as well. Um, the brush spine, like nicer Spydercos tend to have. Distal taper on this, you start at a nice 4 millimeter blade thickness, then you move your way down to that needle tip. Some people say it's too thin, but uh, I don't mind, you just don't just don't pry with it and you'll be fine. Very, very sharp out of the box as you're accustomed to a Spyderco. It's a very nice knife. You can see how large that handle is and you get a good, great grip on it. The paint on the pocket clip does come off sort of easily. And you can see that Digicam. Really is nice looking. I like it a lot. And uh, just to get some quick size comparisons here, we have the military, and we have its baby brother, 
the paramilitary one. You can see this is a third smaller than the military. This is a little, it feels, it's funny because I used to like this knife a lot, but then after I got the military, I can see like all the complaints against this knife. It's kind of odd, but whatever. Um, that's a different video. And next, we have the Essie Azula, much smaller knife. And uh, we also have the ZTO 350, much smaller as well. Chris Reeves, small Sabenza. So, uh, yeah, the military is really an excellent knife, a must for any knife collector, I think. It's really the quintessential Spider Co. And if I had to pick one Spider Co. from what I have, it would be the military. It's highly recommended. Uh, great design, and um, like I said at the beginning of the video, you can get it at tacticaldefender.com, use the coupon code GD73, get 10% off your order, and uh, that's the review guys, thanks for watching, and uh, have a nice day.